So th these are mandrels that otherwise, if we didn't take, would go to landfill. So From construction site rolls to old corrugated cardboard to old newsprint, the California company Ecologic carefully separates what's recyclable, then puts it on a conveyor belt to a pulper. The waste upstream process is in action. It'll create a shell that can be used to hold everything from personal care products to food. We recycle paper first and foremost. We're a large paper recycler. We're the only commercial viable uh, paper bottle manufacturer in the world. The inspiration came to corporate when she was helping her young daughters in a school competition to generate the least amount of waste. As she went down store aisles, she realized while there were seemingly unlimited amounts of food choices, packaging options were dominated by plastic. They all want to blame the brands, like it's your fault. But the shocking truth is, is it's really not uh, the brand's fault. The brands make products. It's the packaging industry that has failed the brands uh, by you know, providing such a lack of alternatives. Uh, and I saw when I started the company, there's a, a deep denial going on. You know, they have this massive infrastructure. Plastic is a formidable competitor. There's still some plastic used in Ecologics bottles, like the pump sprayers. But overall, most like this one, for the brand seventh generation, contains 70% less plastic. This new eco jar cuts the amount of plastic by 90%. Earlier generations used glue to piece the bottles together, but Ecologic recently made a more efficient breakthrough, interlocking shells. You could see that the seam, you know, creates a perfect seam like this. So you could see a zigzag pattern, almost like a stitch. And Ecologic's latest machine can automate the interlocking process. Corbett says that can save 85% in labor costs and reduce the price of a bottle by 30 to 40%. I think if you look at a, a horizon of the next five or six years, you could see that our bottle will be pretty much cost equivalent. But what's very clear is that the innovation is not coming from inside the industry of packaging. The innovation is coming from outside, I would say. It's really a lesson, actually, that uh, I think the, the big packaging companies really need to start really looking and realizing that the ground is starting to shift very radically, and if they're not part of it, um, they're going to be they're going to be missing out. Corbett hopes to someday produce a bottle with zero plastic. In the meantime, she has seen her company move closer and closer toward that once unthinkable goal, step by step. Mark New reporting for CGTN, Antica, California.